Hi and welcome to one of my 5 minute Unity tutorials. Today I'm very quickly going to show you how to do um, a light bake in a scene and that will involve just creating a very simple scene. To do that I'm just going to very quickly add a plane. Make it massive and then going to add some objects. Let's add a cube. Copy that, let's change it quickly, let's add a sphere. Now these objects can be anything you want. Now to get some shadows into the scene so that we can actually bake them in, we're going to add a directional light. Let's move it somewhere where we can see it and turn the shadows on under the shadow type. Either one, it doesn't matter. And then you see there, you've got some shadows that pop into the scene. If you change the colour to something more sun-like, let's make it a yellow. Just bring the intensity down just a touch. It's probably too much. And now we want to bake these shadows in because at the moment if we were to run this if we had um, just a standard light casting shadows in the scene, which is w w what we call a real-time light, then the every object in the scene would have to have calculations done on it. So to improve efficiency, we do something that's called um, a light bake in the scene to create some light maps. And to do that in Unity, you need to go to Window, Light Mapping, and it'll open this box here. And then all you need to do, let's just drag this somewhere where we can see it. With everything that you want baked in the scene, which would be both of our cubes, the sphere and the plane, you need to go up to where it says static in the top right and change it to light map static. Now that'll tell the light mapper that these objects are the ones that require light mapping. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So we go to bake and uh, you see mode here you just sing single light maps would be fine for this sort of scene but if we had objects that had normal maps and specular maps then you'd want to change this to dual light maps. But for the purposes of this tutorial it's just a quick one then single light maps is fine. Just change the quality to low and bounces to one, that's fine. That just means that when a light ray hits an object, it has one bounce and then it dies. Um, two bounces would mean that a light ray is cast from the direct light, hits an object, bounces off, hits another object, which is your two bounces, and then that's it. So for this scene, just one bounce will do. The skylight color, um, let's change that to darker blue. Um, bounce boost is just uh, the intensity of um, the, the bounce from the light. You can leave that as is. Final gather rays um, will just be the number of rays shot from every f final gather point. So the higher the value, the better the quality of the light map will be. But we don't really need to worry about it for this one. Um, also, um, you've got some ambient occlusion here which we can add in. It's currently set to 0, it goes from 0 to 1. So something like 0 0.75 would be fine. And what that'll do is it'll just where the objects meet, um, so the area of the cube where it meets the floor would be slightly darker. And that's it from for this tutorial really. We do a more in-depth one if people need it. And then all you need to do is click on bake scene. And it says the seed needs saving, so we just save the scene, give it a name, just call, just call it tutorial and you can see down in the bottom right that uh, it's calculating the light maps. We set it to low just so that uh, the will bake a little bit quicker. It imports the light maps and there it is, it's done. So now if we delete the light from this scene it should keep all the shadows and this will be very efficient now when it comes to uh, actually running the um, simulation. Thanks very much for watching and a new tutorial coming soon. Bye for now.